he's mad! What sort of person boots this stuff up? Alright, time for Professor Moody's class. Let's see what the damage is. Oh, I see. I get to pick a character every time I start a new part of the game. Okay, I feel a little better about that. I thought I was locked into using Harry permanently, but in retrospect, that was a stupid assumption on my part. It may sound a little weird. I might have strep throat. I don't know. I'm not sure what this is. I guess I can upgrade some of my stats. I doubt I'll be able to do anything now without cards. Harry, Ron, and Hermione met Mad-Eye Moody for an extra defense against the Dark Arts lesson. Wondering why I brought you here, are you? This is where you learn how to defend yourselves. Get to it! And remember, constant vigilance. How are we going to get over there? Over right where? Now, to that to table with the glowing bucket? Fucking use your legs and walk over to it, Ron. What's the matter with you? Those blue beams will help you cast more powerful spells. Okay, that's cool. Are we done? Now go through that door to the next room. Damn it. Well, I'm not sure how painful of an experience this is going to be. Might as well give it a chance. One positive thing, though, using the controller's analog stick allows you to walk at different speeds. <laughs> flailing around so much that it just headbutted its own cage. Come on, cast your jinxes in quick succession. It says use X to do a jinx, but it's referring to the X key and the keyboard, not my controller. In reality, I'm using the A button for that, and the X button is for Wingardium Leviosa and other shit. Now, I don't expect a game from 2005 to know that I've plugged in an Xbox 360 controller specifically, but it still could have said something else, like button 1 or button 2, because any external controller you plug in is going to have its different inputs, such as individual buttons and other things numbered. You can look at that shit in the Windows control panel or something. So I just have to look at the on-screen instructions and ignore the button it's telling me to use and memorize which button it is on the keyboard. Well, I just hope I can remember which colored beans do what. And I am almost certainly never going to be able to throw a rock at something and crush an enemy that way. I think that's way beyond my aiming abilities with this game. And it might not be the control itself that's an impairment, but I'll never know for sure, because I really think the main problem with trying to aim and throw your rocks in a particular direction is actually made nearly impossible by the weird camera angles instead. These dung bongs, dung bugs, whatever the fuck, just keep falling from the ceiling as if they were lizards with suction cupped toes that lost their grip because they got too excited by all the chaos happening below. And something just exploded and released a bunch of crows or ravens or something? What the fuck? Do some spells have side effects in addition to releasing light and sound, such as spontaneous transfiguration? Are all those birds trapped in here now? Maybe they'll peck the remaining dung bogs to death if there are any more up there. Yeah, just hold it right there, Ron. For fuck's sake, you were keeping it still and now we have to deal with it the hard way. I'm not confident about too much in this game anyways. Anything gonna happen? Try summoning it with the Axio charm. Okay, I just had to walk forward a bit. But hey, this is much easier and more pleasant than the last room. Remember, you can summon rewards that are out of reach by casting Axio. I needed to be reminded of this? Didn't I literally just summon something out of reach five seconds ago? Hey, a pumpkin pasty. Nothing like wizard sweets to boost energy. Why is that S pulsating and clicking? I'm not sure I want to know. Well, I'll get the rest of this stuff real quick then. The Aquarotto Spellbook! Wicked! 
Okay, so I do at least need to be facing in the object's general direction before it flies towards me, but I'm already done with this lesson? Sweet. Moody wasn't as crazy as I had imagined, though. It's also weird doing a lesson with all three main characters at once. Because before now, every lesson in previous games had been done solo. Only one champion can win the Triwizard Tournament. And that champion must survive three very dangerous times. Your three champions are... Victor Crump, Fleur Delacour, and lastly, Cedric Diggory. That's it? That's the entirety of that cutscene? There's so much more to it than that, both substantively and emotionally. Dumbledore just said Harry's name as if nothing out of the ordinary just happened. In fact, if you were playing this game without having read the book or even seen the movie for some reason, I'm not sure you'd even necessarily pick up on the fact that this was unexpected for everyone involved. Although, to be fair, Dumbledore mentioned in passing your three champions are, suggesting that a fourth would be unexpected. Now, if all these parts of the game are just as short as that first Defense Against the Dark Arts lesson, then... I mean, this is gonna be a very short series. I don't know. I'll get around to playing as Ron and Hermione sooner or later, though. I, I don't know. I'll get around to it. I thought I won a few cards already, didn't I? Fuck it. Potter! If you're to survive the Triwizard Tournament, I suggest you start collecting Triwizard Shields. And remember, constant vigilance. Fuck you, you didn't even acknowledge anything I just said about the plot a minute ago. I'm out of here. Let's go, guys. You just have chocolate frogs running around loose in here? Weasley! Any slower and you'll be standing still. You want us to leave sooner? Oh. What's your problem? Though I guess Moody was just being sarcastic with that remark. Not like we have any choice whether we do this or not, so we might as well get it over with. Now, to put the fires out, you'll need to use Aqua Erupto. What fires? What the fuck are you doing? This is like... Those five kids summoning Captain Planet in an overly dramatic fashion. Or do they combine and turn into Captain Planet? I don't know much about that cartoon. Oh, well, I found the fire. Again, I just had to walk a bit further and I would have seen it. You don't have that problem in the previous games because the third person camera's behind you. And putting the camera behind the character lets you, you know, see what they're seeing! The sideways camera bullshit is pissing me off still. Okay, this is a somewhat improved angle at least. Oh wow! Again, if the camera were behind me and I could look around using free will, I would have known that this fire was here and not stood in front of the locked gate like an idiot. Well, that's good to know. I just hope the game controlled AI is up to the task. Hermione, I know you're awesome at spellcasting, but quit diverting our resources and help us put out a flame pit one at a time. Great, now Ron's just not gonna do anything but stand around behind us. You're just gonna stand there and stare, are you for real? Okay, finally, thank you. This isn't a difficult concept to grasp, guys. Oh, what the fuck? Well, now there's only one fire, so there can't possibly be any confusion about where to aim. Unless you aim at the middle of the flames rather than at the base of the fire, but it seems like you all didn't make that basic mistake. Now I have to run over here to make sure there's nothing else I need to do since I can't see in front of Harry. I swear I just saw the edge of the map like a black hole where the floor ended. I guess there's no need to design and render a wall for this side of the room if you're going to have a side view camera. Oh well. Ah, now you should remember this creature. Even though this isn't how I imagined Professor Moody would sound, I think this is a cool voice regardless. Oh, god damn it. 
Ron is casting Lapifors. That's a transfiguration spell that transforms objects into small rabbit. Actually, speaking of Ron, he doesn't seem upset with Harry in the game, and that's nice and all. You hate to see friends fighting, but again, this is more bullshit that needlessly deviates from the source material, and it's in a way that makes the in-game story and its characters so much more shallow. And why do I need to jinx a salamander to extinguish the fire before I start spraying it with water? If Ron, or rather the computer, is doing it there, then that must in fact be how they're supposed to be dealt with, but what sense does that order of attack make? Ooh, we're outside now. Is it nighttime though? I didn't think any classes were done at night other than lessons in the astronomy tower at midnight. Oh, that was a flash of lightning. Guess it's just a thunderstorm blocking the sun. Those salamanders are a menace. And they burnt holes in my trousers. Good. Should be easier for Hermione to get the D now. Great cast. I don't understand how I cast that spell any differently compared to previous times that I've used it. All I do is hold down the button and wait. See, that time it didn't tell me anything, but I don't know how the first and second spell cast effectively differed in any way. But now the third time it's telling me again that it was a great cast. Very good, Granger. I was hoping you'd remember. Yeah, you may recall from the last game that these particular fire pits actually spawn additional salamanders. And there's that rabbit, just sitting there after being conjured from the Lapifor spell. Oh, never mind, it just fucking exploded. Come on, you two. They're gonna follow you around anyway, shit lord. At least we all pretty much have full health right now. There's more of those things. I'm sure you recall salamander fires who easily. You need to put them out or they'll spawn new salamanders. Yeah, way ahead of you. Already spotted one earlier and explained what it was. Damn it! The difficulty here is trying to put those fires out without getting killed by other monsters. What are you waiting for, Granger? Put the fire out. What? We're all trying to do shit here. Why single her out? She just got hit with fire a few seconds ago anyways. I'm sure she's trying her hardest. And at least I got the salamander fire put out. Fortunately, those only require one person to extinguish rather than relying on the computer to help you out. Well... Well, thanks to me, there won't be any more salamanders clawing their way up from the depths of hell here. Oh, more beans. Gotta get more beans, especially now that they have uses beyond buying collector's cards. Okay, that's all of them. What's a drawbridge doing here? Pull it towards you with carpe retractum. Why is it any of your business where someone puts a drawbridge, Harry? And my throat feels weird today. Hurry up! Every time I turn around, there's a salamander just waiting to get me. Uh, I think you'll find there's more than one this time, Ron. This time? We already dealt with multiple salamanders a minute ago. What does Moody have against Hermione? You'd think that she would potentially be his favorite student, but he practically sounds like Snape. This is also much more difficult than dealing with the salamanders in the last game, even though it was just Harry mostly facing them solo back then. Oh shit, I actually crushed it with a rock. I wasn't even totally sure it landed on... <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, the rock technically didn't even crush the salamander since you can still see the shadow underneath it as it flies along that trajectory of light over the monster, but I guess they'd were quite generous with the collision detection box in that regard. Good, I can finally put out this one fire pit. Better do the second one. We're only 15 minutes into the episode, be patient. I didn't see you telling us to hurry up and complete the lesson when we tried to walk out of your classroom, either. Why do I need to collect shields, other than as an excuse to unlock later portions of the game? What kind of a shield has a gaping hole in the center?
Finally, we're fucking done with that. Unless there's a third lesson with Moody I need to do. I'm gonna try to actually use these, I hope. Also, I was too busy talking about other shit, but when we did the Captain Planet wannabe chant and had an aurora of light surrounding us for several seconds, the bar in the lower left-hand corner with the pulsating S was rapidly draining. So I guess doing this gives us extra power for a short period of time? I must have hit the corresponding button on the controller by mistake somehow. Alright, let's see if I can figure this out. I have to buy cards with beans, which I always had to do in the last three games anyways, but I sort of thought I had them already when it used the word unlocked at the end of a lesson. It's kind of cool though, the cards have images from the fourth movie as well, and I guess I have to take care of each character individually rather than sharing cards in between them. That means I have to spend three times as many beans. Well, I think that's enough of this for now. This is a good enough way to end the episode, I suppose.